tip number 60. So we've exported a design and we'd now like to start actually making adjustments to it. So something that we hear often is that customers would like to apply symmetry to a generative design part. Now, something that we are working on is actually applying symmetry as an upfront setting, but we don't currently have symmetry as something we can apply within generative design today. So to do this, we can take our, generative, our generatively exported design and apply symmetry later on. So to take a look at this, I'm going to go back to our project and I'm going to search for created from outcome. This will find parts that have been sent out as solid CAD. You can see we have a two and a half axis milled solution here. And since I've already created the new file from the outcome, I can simply open it here within this window. Now that I have this geometry, it looks pretty symmetrical, but it's not exactly symmetrical. And if this was an organic design, something for additive, you would definitely notice that. So if I wanted to quickly make an adjustment to where this part could be symmetrical, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the body of this part and I'm going to split it around a central plane. So if we had a mid plane for our part, or if we had uh, the origin geometry itself, we can split across that plane. So for splitting tool, I'm just going to select that plane here. You can see that it's extending through the middle of the part. I'm going to hide the half that I don't want to copy. So now I'm looking at this half and now I can come into modify and all I have to do is mirror this part now. So I, I think actually it's under create my fault. So I'll create modify the body from the left half, selecting the mirror plane across the middle. And this now provides us with that symmetrical part that we would have hoped. So now we can come in and combine those two halves. And we went from having a non-symmetrical part to now a symmetrical part coming out of generative design.